throughout my years of learning math whenever the question okay so what can you say about math was asked majority of the answer would be two math is everywhere which i have validated as i learn about how diverse math can be even though math is complex and they're bracking i enjoyed solving math but i think my perspective of liking math during my high school years will now change this college But how did the universe come to be so mathematical? Hmm. I will leave this question for you and now we're going to dive into the insights that I had picked up in Ian Stewart's book, The Natural's Number. <laughs> the Nature's Number. But I'll be focusing on Chapter 1, Natural Order. The title summarizes the idea of the chapter in which the repetitive process of numbers occurs frequently and obviously in nature. The first line had already made me realize that math isn't as dull as some of us think it is. Math is the music of reason, math is the poetry of logical ideas, and math is the magical repetitive scheme of the Russian world that revolves around us. Some of us may have already realized that humans are naturally and intellectually curious about the things that revolve around us. And as a result, being naturally curious drives us to explore anything that tickles our interests. Sometimes we spend a lot of time observing and studying natural phenomena such as patterns and we wonder why we keep doing the same thing no matter how it looks. As our curiosity about the things that surround us grows, our human mind has developed a system of thought to recognize, identify, and categorize the existing nature's patterns resulting in the birth of mathematics. According to Stewart, we live in a pattern-filled universe. He demonstrated this by bombarding us with examples of how this pattern coexists in reality wherein such patterns are clues that underpin the rules and regularities that will soon define what we will discover in nature. Examples of this are stars moving in circles at night skies, scissors that cycle in yearly intervals, waves that march across the ocean, and dunes that march along the desert. Math is more than just numbers and equations. Math is the essential things around us. Did you notice that this includes the moment you wake up, see the sun, greet your loved ones a good morning, and after a few hours, the moon will begin to rise and you will go back to sleep only to wake up the following day to witness the nature cycle. See? We humans coexist with patterns in even the most mundane aspects of our lives. Stewart produced numerous points that inform us about the mathematical regularities that represent the natural order of nature. Even though some people don't perceive the world to be so mathematical because in their learning they get bored, Stewart has his ways to capture interest by relating math to Sherlock Holmes' character. The name Sherlock Holmes and the address is 221D Baker Street. The series taught me that when people are puzzled about the world, they become more sensitive and open-minded because our suspicion will somehow reveal the truth of nature and use nature as evidence to answer our confusions. A pattern may hint at the nature and irregularities. However, this also implies that an exception to such pattern stands out. As an example, consider the four-leaf clover. This leaf is well known because it is deemed lucky and uncommon to see. Patterns possess a utility as well as beauty, as Stuart said. Once we have learned to have a background, pattern exceptions suddenly stand out. Patterns has the potential to be a center of attraction. Many patterns are also regarded as essential clues that aid in the conduct of natural process 
or for the things that happen by chance around us. Isn't it spectacular? Through this, we now have a strong foundation to prove that math is everywhere. Even though we didn't expect it that the vastness of math can be this bewildering. We now know that we live in a universe of patterns and they don't have to be visible to our eyes in order for it to be proven as true. Because practices exist in situation that occurs around us and in that circumstance, it causes a ripple-like effect resulting in a pattern. This is Bernard Ethan BBS. Thank you for listening and watching. Bye-bye.